you've been following my channel for a while, you'll know about 4 months ago I came out with a video showing how you could play PC VR without a gaming PC. But since then, a lot of questions have been asked. My video quality has improved, and most importantly, there have been a ton of updates that you should know about. So this is going to be my new guide on how you could play PC VR games on your Quest 2 without a gaming PC. Oh, and uh, at some point in the video, I'm going to do a giveaway, so keep an eye out for that. First, let's just quickly cover what Plutosphere is. Plutosphere is a cloud gaming software meant specifically for the Quest 1 and the Quest 2. To put it simply, Plutosphere is just like having a VR-ready gaming PC. Now, if you already tried Plutosphere and for whatever reason it doesn't work for you, do not worry, I'm going to give you an alternative option as well. But lastly, before we begin, I just want to say I know this guide could seem intimidating, but as long as you follow it step by step, you will be fine. And at the end of this, you'll be playing Half-Life Alex or Boneworks, or whatever other PC VR game you want to play. And if you do have any questions, please just comment them down below. I make sure to answer all the comments as fast as possible. So let's get started. Step 1. You will have to have developer mode turned on. If you already have it turned on, great, skip to the next step. If not, just click the link in the video's description. Then click sign up with a Facebook account. Log in to the Facebook account that's connected to your Quest. Once your developer account has been created, that's great, but we still have to turn it on within the headset. So make sure that your headset's powered on. Open up the Oculus app on your phone. Within the Oculus smartphone app, go to Menu, then Devices, then scroll down to Headset Settings, and you should see Developer Mode. Click it and toggle the switch on. Step 2. Next, you're going to have to download SideQuest. You could do this using an Android phone, a Mac, or a PC. You will only have to do this once, so even if you don't have any of those, I strongly recommend borrowing one from a friend or a family member. It will only take about 10 minutes. I will put SideQuest download links in the description below. Step 3. Plug your headset into the device you downloaded SideQuest on. Make sure you accept any allow messages from within the Quest. You'll know if it's connected because there will be a green dot in the top left hand corner. If the dot is red, that means it is not connected. Next, search for Plutosphere and then click the pink download app button. You'll know if it's been successfully downloaded because a green bar will appear at the bottom of the screen that says all tasks complete. Step 4. Turn on your headset and open up your app menu. In the top right hand corner, click where it says all, that will open up a drop down, select unknown sources at the bottom of it. Then click Plutosphere client. The first time you do this, it's going to open up the Oculus browser and connect your headset to Plutosphere. Make sure to click allow on any pop ups. From there, you're going to need to create an account. Remove your headset and go to dashboard.pluto.app and log in using the details you entered from within the headset. Now that the app has already been downloaded, you could use a iPhone, Android, Mac, or PC to access and operate the dashboard and the virtual computer. Once logged in, you'll be able to see your Plutosphere dashboard. From here, you could turn the virtual computer on or off see your token balance, buy tokens, or buy some persistent storage. I'm going to be giving away some Plutosphere tokens in a second, but first I just want to explain what they are. Tokens are how you pay to use Plutosphere, similar to the tokens of an arcade game. Okay, so now on to the giveaway. When I knew I wanted to make an updated video, I reached out to the Plutosphere team and I asked if they would be willing to donate some tokens to give out to my viewers. They gave me the green light to give 5 viewers 3,000 tokens each. If you want to enter, all you have to do is comment your Plutosphere username down below, and in one week, I'll select 5 of you randomly for the token giveaway. At the end of the week, I'll respond to your comment if you won, saying something like, congratulations. You could also visit the Plutosphere Discord, they give out a ton of tokens there each day. I will put a link to that in the description below as well. Okay, now back to the tutorial. Once you have the tokens in your account, click start to power up your virtual computer. The first time you connect, it could take 10 to 15 minutes, so please be patient. Once you see the machine status as connected, 
click the computer icon and you will be brought to your virtual computer which you control via desktop vision. If you get stuck on the loading screen of three rotating dots and that doesn't go away after about 10 seconds, then just close the window and try to open it again. If desktop vision still won't launch after a few tries, turn off your virtual computer and then turn it back on again. The second time it boots up should only take about a minute. Step 5. Log in to Steam on the virtual computer. Since you're logging in on a new computer, Steam will want you to verify it's really you by emailing you a verification code. If you do not have a Steam account, do not create one within the virtual computer, use another device. If you try to create one through desktop vision, Steam will not allow it. Once logged into your Steam account, download the game you want to play. So today for the example, I'm going to download The Living Remain, which is my favorite VR zombie game, but obviously it will work with any PC VR game, no matter if it's Boneworks, Half-Life Alex, Skyrim, Fallout, or whatever else. Once your download is complete, keep Steam open on the virtual computer and put your headset back on. Step 6. With your headset on, go to your apps, switch to unknown sources, and open up Plutosphere. If you're lucky, after about 10 seconds, Steam VR should launch. Once it's open, click the button with three lines on it on your left controller. Clicking that will open the Steam VR menu. From there, hover over the game you downloaded, which should now be appearing in the Steam menu, and click play. Within a few seconds, the game should launch. That's it. You can now play PC VR games without the need of a gaming PC. I'm going to show some actual gameplay in a minute, but first I just wanted to mention if for whatever reason Plutosphere doesn't work for you, there is another VR cloud gaming service. It's called Shadow. I haven't personally tried it out, but I'm going to put a download link in the description below, and I believe the setup is very similar to Plutosphere. If you have any questions at all, please just comment them down below. If you've been following me for a while, you probably know that I respond to like every single comment. Maybe that's a little much, but I don't care. I love that you guys are watching these videos and getting uh, you know, some help from them. So anything I could do to give back to the community, I will. All right, enough of that. Let's play some PC VR and you can see how this runs. Ugh. What the hell? How long was I out? Man, I gotta get out of here. Let's see if I better stock up. Who knows what else is out there? Looks like someone thought they'd start a fire and get rid of me. <laughs> You'll have to do better than that. Where is everyone? Hopefully they got out before this fire got started. Who did this? I gotta put this fire out so I can see what the hell is going on here. <sighs> that should be good enough. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. If you want more VR content and you're not already subscribed, 
please do. It helps me out so much. Whenever I check the YouTube Studio app on my phone and I see I have one new subscriber, it you know makes my day. So um, you know, like, comment, subscribe. You know all that stupid stuff. I appreciate you watching. And until next time, this is Andy's VR Reviews.